Welcome to Everdell Moment, and we are going to give you the update on the 2022 Knife of the Year as well as the 2023 Knife of the Year. Before you, you have three amazing knives. You'd be proud to have any one of them, and I can tell you that all of them are absolutely gorgeous. Their performance is high, and it's definitely a pleasure to own. Each one of their performances are actually individually different. Two of the knives are made by the same blacksmith. Um, so you both have two Tanaka uh, yep. blacksmith. I'm just staring at them. I can help <laughs> it. Uh, two of these knives are Yoshikazu Tanaka blacksmith, but uh, three different companies coming out here today. So we uh, we 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 gave you a, an update earlier this year. We had said like we've got some suggestions for the 2022 and 2023 knives of the year. Um, Jiro really hit the like the scene last year. I mean, everyone's been wanting, and still to this day, wanting to get a Jiro. Whenever they pop up, they're gone immediately, and um, it it just continues. Uh, they're absolutely beautiful. You can see the knife has been used in the house. Um, the Kurichi finish is still there. Their performance is there. This white number one, obviously, you expect it to perform well. Uh, it has a unique look. Tilted. This is a two hundred and twenty-five. Okay. millimeter western handle knife the western handle is made in a way that you have not seen on other western handles uh it is heavy duty much thicker at the spine oh yeah it has significant weight especially in the handle it doesn't feel out of balance in any way it's tall and the weight helps you push through it does definitely been a joy to have the other two knives I've been more pronounced in 2023. The Hato Damascus Blue Number One. Um, it's just known for its grind. It, you've seen other blacksmiths now really become popular with this type of grind. The Shinogi line, the grind mark. It just begins so much higher. Um, very lightweight, considering this is the tallest knife of the group at 240 millimeter. I mean, it the looks like a monster. Knife of the longest. No, no, it is the longest. Yeah, you said tallest. That's why I was like. I'm sorry. I, I but, uh, but, you know, it's definitely kind of a monster compared to the other two. But it definitely feels lighter than the Giro at 225. Oh, okay. Um, it feels, I would say, as light as the competitor. This competitor is in both years. The Takata Nahamano Blue Number 1 Damascus made it seen in 2022 it kept up its uh you know its prestige in 2023 and today we're going to give you an update according to you the people um in the polls that we put out the polls were put out on facebook we put out something on instagram but we also put out something on the youtube channel itself we just kept asking you and we kept hearing the same thing so i'm definitely excited to announce today what we believe to be the knives of the year for 2022 and the knife of the year for 2023. Unfortunately, in both instances, the Takata Nohomono was always in second place for both year. It was outshined. Yes, the people's choices for 2022 definitely was the Giro. Um, everyone has loved theirs. It just seemed to have no competitor. The Takata Nohomono made it splash at the same time. But the Giro's uniqueness uh, and just energy that was just out there. It was just crazy how everybody wanted then and still now. The, the Hado knife, you know, this company's been around for a long time. They're not new, but they reinvented themselves. And in doing so, they really made a mark this past year, coming out with several different versions of their work working with all types of different um, blacksmiths, um, but really known for their in-house sharpeners. Um, but this one seemed to rise to the top. Uh, it is a big knife, the grind is unique. Blue number one, I mean, I love, I love the carbon steel knives. I don't have a problem wiping it down, but you guys spoke and once again, it seemed to outshine. If you remember, Frankie did a video himself of this knife. Um, I think another guy, chef enthusiast, did it as well. It's, I mean, why would you not, you know? And I can tell you since I love big knives that I'm, I'm definitely happy to have it. 
Um, if you don't know, the performance on these knives are always stellar. I mean, we've showed you in a different video. This was barely over 100 on the BSS. Um, the best tester. Blue steel, white steel, you're going to get extremely high performances. So you guys have spoken. We're glad to be able to tell you that we've listened to you. The people's champions have been determined. We look forward to seeing who rises to the top next year in 2024. We're glad we can give you this update. Definitely, we hope that was not a dull moment. I think you guys already knew who the winners were. So we look forward to seeing you again Friday nights, 8 o'clock. We appreciate your support. We've been doing this for a while, and you've been along for the ride. And we're just so thankful to have you. Again, we look forward to seeing you next week. God bless.